So we've taken the knight um, to stop um, at the root of the river here, or should I say the opening of the river. Um, and we're going to fly up through here around these mountains and then continue on. We ended up changing the oil on this engine here. It had uh, developed an issue and the oil quality was dropping quickly so we had to basically uh, drain the oil, change the uh, oil seals and replace the oil. We, have, we do have an online oil reserve in this repair unit in here for ice. Uh, so we did that. Um, we, we won't be able to do that too many more times. Um, uh, we might have enough for a couple more oil changes but that's about it. Uh, these engines take a lot of oil. I'm packing up the ramp. We're going to start the engines and prepare for takeoff. And we'll just begin the engine start sequence. There we go. Now we have to make sure our landing flaps, speed flaps are retracted. Remove our brake. We will start to taxi. Now the aircraft does need a, a little bit of speed to take off, so I'm hoping there's not too many um, bumps in this ground up here. Okay, and for extra bonus, we do have the front nozz of the front uh, rocket motors here that give a little bit of lift to the front. actually check the water um, in the river system. Every every version of KSP, the landscape kind of slowly changes yeah, at times, and I'm wondering if the water goes all the way through, um, because at one point I took a submarine through here, and, or was it a carrier? I can't remember. I'll have to look through my old videos. Anyways, I took a ship through here and into the bay right at the foot of these mountains, and um, I wanted to see if that waterway is now open. There, there used to be a little bit of a land uh, obstruction, um, and I had to basically cheat to hop the, the ship over top of that obstruction. So I'm hoping now that the water is clear through, and that they've smoothed that out a little bit. Okay guys, I realized what happened. We had a backfire on an engine. Um, we have uh, oil temperature in certain engines are higher than others. This one here, the oil temperature is low, um, the oil level is low, so we blew a seal on this engine back here. That's what that explosion was. Um, but I'm going to shut this engine off before it destroys it. So, I'm shutting that down. Now what that means is we're going to have to change the oil seals and the oil in this engine. Uh, if it were to run out, it would literally either seize or destroy that engine, and we don't have the repair facilities to that kind of damage. Needless to say guys, we are in some serious trouble. We have four engines remaining. Sorry, five engines remaining out of eight. Um, it's very difficult because these are, are you know, essentially supercharged, uh, um, twin supercharged or dual stage supercharged uh, World War II engines that are severely underpowered for an aircraft of this size. Um, we need at least six of these engines to maintain uh, decent, and I just mean decent, performance. I never checked the Kerbal's um, technical rating before I did the I performed all the maintenance on the engines in the previous night, uh, during the night. So what I'm thinking is the engines weren't as renewed as I thought they would be, um, and what I did was I, I may have actually caused some harm. So uh, either that or something in the code is wrong and a lot of these things are failing prematurely, in which case I'm going to have to you know, do some tweaking to that later on um, to help it out a bit. So as you can see, as you can see um, we do have, still have some disconnects in the river system here, which means the ship can't get through here still.
is the little end of the river system, or I would say the source of the river system, right at the base of the mountains. It's really nice. Fortunately, we can't get a boat through here, but that's alright. I'm going to try to gain some altitude now and find a nice flat spot to land. Oh god. Oh, that's really rough. That was really rough, man. I couldn't tell. Oh. There goes that gear. Now these, uh, I haven't shown these in the video yet, but these, um, crew compartment uh, platforms in here are completely ejectable and separately. So, uh, quick key 9 will eject this platform of four passengers and then quick key 10, and I've tested it even in flight, so it actually won't uh, impact the plane and destroy the plane. It actually flies up and over and around, and it's cool. Anyway, I guess it could conceivably destroy the plane, but I, in, in testing, I haven't had that happen yet. It's 0.78. So he has the best rating of all of them. He's going to go down and service the engines that are broken. Okay, that's the last engine. Um, we did replace the oil in one engine, and we've replaced, we fixed all the filters and the electrical system and all the other engines that are still operating. I think that will give us enough power uh, and reliability to continue flying. And uh, I'll chance it with this. The sun is up. We're ready to take off. Now we do have all the engines on the front of the aircraft and two on the back. Uh, two are out of commission. So I'm hoping we don't lose any more engines. Oh no. Something is wrong. So we're making very uh, poor speed right now. I have two engines I had to throttle back, and the other ones I have uh, running at about, uh, you know, c close to around 70 some odd percent. Um, now some of the damage was done, of course, before I did some code changes. So now, as you can see, some of these engines are maintaining their oil condition a lot better um, because they're maintaining the proper temperature. I think some of these were overheating and become, and it was generating a problem because the uh, the code was um, was incorrectly executing. So uh, you know, to be fair, I think I you know I I, I added more oil in here. I repaired that engine um, so that uh, everything was kind of uh, you know equalized. Um, so now we're continuing on, and we'll see how far we can get. I want to level out sometime after 3,000 or uh, 3,000 meters. Uh, try to become as efficient as possible. I think we'll need to put down and take care of this engine. Possibly this engine. Um, I figured having a few bum engines on this aircraft would be okay because we have eight engines, but really this aircraft design needs all the engines that it can get. One, one note before I try landing is that I've lost both outboard um, safety gear. So if I do tip this on landing, I'll, I'll take the wings off uh, and then the game and the mission's over. So I'm going to uh, try it. I'm going to line it up. I'll find a smooth spot and we'll see what happens. God! Oh. There we go. Turn these up a bit. Turn the front boosters on. We'll attempt to take off. The ground is very uneven, which is not good for taking off. Come on, damn it. There we go. Alright. We're off. So we picked up a good, like, nearly 14 meters per second um, after repairing and uh, fixing uh, the engines as best we could. 
Um, my guess is as we lose fuel mass, we should be able to pick up even more speed. I don't know if anybody's seen these mountains before, but they're fairly large, uh, a fairly large range of mountains here. If we look at the map, um, okay, so we left the KSC, we flew out this way, turned, and went up this river system here. That's when I noticed that the engines I had repaired here were actually uh, worse off than when I had repaired when I had started the repairs. So I landed here. I then landed again here and fixed them. This is the last landing I did. I'm now flying over this range here, and I'm probably going to land somewhere in here or on this island. Well, it seems like we've blown uh, an oil seal on this engine. So I think we're uh, going to be in trouble. Um, it is a very slow leak, but given the amount of distance we're traveling here, that's the mountain range we just flew over. Um, given the amount of distance we're traveling here, uh, it appears that this could be the end. I, I do have enough for one more oil repair, um, so that would have to happen. That was, I was saving that for this engine here. Um, that engine will have to stay uh, at that level, and I'll have to use the repair on this engine here, um, just so that we would have the option to continue. Well, we're nearly at an island. Uh, I'm heading towards this island here. And I'm hoping that there's a spot somewhere down in the low areas here where it would be uh, smooth enough to land safely. So I'm reaching the island just as the sun is uh, going down. Um, and uh, I'm gonna, just going to try to go straight in, put it straight down. Uh, hopefully the ground is not too bumpy. Hopefully I can actually manage a, a very safe landing. Landing on uh, anything other than a runway is, d is very dangerous. Another thing this aircraft has are emergency chutes for slowing down in case we're going way too fast. Um, I've never used them before, and I'm not really sure how well they would be used here, but I can try. Oh! No! No! Oh, that's bad. Very bad. Uh, oh, oh. We still have crew alive here. Now, this is totally another rescue mission now. So we have this as a rescue mission. I guess we, we took it a little too far, and uh, we landed uh, in the dark um, without safety gear. Uh, I really don't know what happened there. Uh, something really bad happened. Um, did both parachutes deploy? I think both parachutes deployed, but I'm not sure. Um, actually, you know what? Uh, I think one of the parachutes did not deploy, which it could be the reason why... Um, okay, uh, I think that it's possible that the... Uh, one of the uh, parachutes didn't deploy, um, and that caused the plane to spin to one side from all the drag, and that caused the aircraft to crash. Now, it's a good thing I... well, it's not a good thing. <laughs> I didn't use the parachutes until now, so I'm thinking what happened was... Um, I just never noticed it in the design that perhaps one of the parachutes wasn't linked. So here's the evidence. Um, on this side, we have the parachute that it was deployed on this side the parachute's still there so the evidence is uh, that uh, the crash was caused by one side deploying and the other side wasn't uh, didn't so we have a situation now um, 
the crew is in here. Um, um, so we'll have to we'll have to formulate some kind of a rescue plan with a different kind of aircraft. Oh God! So that was a bad takeoff. Awesome. <laughs> Look at the stupid fire. Okay, that's hilarious. <laughs> Little bits of shit falling down. <laughs> that's ridiculous. Look how it's stuck into the ground. This engine's still going. <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. Just little bits of fire, little bits of fiery debris still falling everywhere. <laughs> Oh god, that was a bad choice. <laughs> oh crap. Oh no. 